It is now fairly recognized that diversity matters. Diversity has a positive association with the higher revenue growth. Uh, it has, it increases the readiness of organizations to innovate. It increases the ability to recruit a divert, uh, diverse talent pool. 4.5 times higher employee retention is found in the organization which were high on the diversity metrics. People who are working in the organization who respect diversity are stronger brand ambassadors of their organizations in marketplace. People intend to stay longer in the organization which have which which have deeper respect for diversity and which invest efforts in creating inclusive workplace. Diversity leads to inclusion, inclusion leads to trust and trust leads to employee positive attitude. So, when employees trust their organization and their colleagues, they will be treated about they being treated fairly regardless of the race, gender, sexual orientation or age, they are about 10 times more likely to look forward to going to work. They are more than 6 times more likely to have pride in their work and they are 5 times more than 5 times more likely to want to stay longer uh, with their organizations. So, you can see that inclusion leads to trust and that leads to many positive attitude amongst the employees which results into their productivity, creativity and that naturally is connected to the organizational benefits. Organizations which have high level of diversity are able to serve their customers also better because by the virtue of having diverse workplace, they have better understanding about the diverse customer segments which they serve. We all know that with most of the products there is a service attached to that in the current times. For example, uh, a white goods company not only sells the product, but it also sells the service after sale service. Uh, a elevator company or uh, even the food companies try to in enhance the, the service component by having the helpline numbers, by uh, trying to generate the uh, trying to uh, do the competition or trying to build the community who are the users of those product. So, this phenomena of converting products into service is called servicizing. When everything is turning into the service, role of diversity suddenly increases because it makes people more sensitive to the different needs of the different segments. When teams are having more diversity, they are found to show more flexibility and diversity increases the creativity and innovation at workplace and this is a very consistent finding not only in the research and development organizations, but in various different types of organism uh, in the organizations. Diverse workplace is actually a social and moral imperative as well, because in the development of any society, in the development of any country or economy, all communities play important role. So, naturally they need to have representation in all organizations. So, in that sense 
enhancing the diverse workplace is a social and moral imperative. There are some research studies and one of them uh, is conducted by its very extensive study conducted by McKinsey that is the relationship between the level of diversity and company's financial performance. They looked at level of diversity in terms of greater share of women and more mixed ethnic or racial composition in the leadership of the large companies. And what they found was that companies in the top quartile of gender diversity were 15 percent more likely to have financial returns that were above their national industry median. Companies in the top quartile of racial or ethnic diversity were 35 percent more likely to have financial returns above their national industry median. This was a multi nation study. Companies in the bottom quartile of both gender and ethnicity oblique race were statistically less likely to achieve above average financial returns than the average companies in the database. That is they were not just leading, they were not just not leading, they were lagging. Result though varied by country and industry. So, in certain countries some aspect of diversity was found to be more closely, more strongly associated with the financial outcome. So, for example, companies with the 10 percent higher gender or ethnic or racial diversity on management teams and boards in US for instance had EBITDA that was 1.1 percent higher whereas, similar thing in UK companies with the same diversity level uh, they had EBITDA that was 5.8 percent higher. Moreover, the unequal performance across companies in the same industry and the same country implies that diversity is a competitive differentiator that shifts market share towards more diverse companies.